LSU baseball opened SEC play with an underwhelming performance against Mississippi State. The Tiger Bats couldn't connect against the Bulldog arms, but tonight the Bayou Bengals aimed to even the series in Game 2. Game 2 at the box for LSU's SEC opening series against the Bulldogs. Landon Marceau on the bump, one of his three strikeouts of the day in seven innings of work. But Will Bettner for Mississippi State dominating the night. He pitches just five innings but throws seven strikeouts against LSU. Another low scoring game, but with runners on the corners, Lane Forsyth for the Bulldogs hits a sack fly. He gets out, but Rowdy Johnson scores, and Mississippi State goes up 1 0 in the top of the fifth. The Bulldogs would score once again in the eighth inning to take a 2 0 lead, and now in the top of the ninth, up 2 0 with runners in scoring position. Josh Hatcher grounds out at second, but Luke Hancock scores, and Mississippi State now up 3 0. Now, LSU now in the home half of the final frame can't get any offense to go, and the Tigers lose game two, three nothing. Head on over to Tiger Park. LSU softball back at home, hosting Texas A&M for the, the Alex Weekend, bringing awareness to ovarian cancer. Top of the second in score, Shelby Wickersham in the circle. The pitch and Morgan Smith sends this one well over the right field wall. A solo homer, and the Aggies take the one nothing lead. Top of the six now, Ali Kilponen enters the game. Runner at third and Ashland Walls hits a chopper right up the middle, sending Star Ferguson home. Aggies up 2 0. We go to the bottom of the frame and Aaliyah Andrews at second. Amanda Doyle at the dish and Doyle hits down the right field line. Andrews scores to put LSU on the board. Tigers now trailing 2 1. Bottom of, the bottom of the seventh with runners in scoring position. Two outs, but freshman Danica Coffey strikes out swinging to end the night. Tigers lose 2-1, and game two is set for 5 o'clock tomorrow night at Tiger Park. How about some gymnastics? Jay Clark and the Tigers in Huntsville, Alabama for the SEC Championships. Tigers start on bars and Olivia Dunn on the scale. She ties Sammy Durante with a 9-9 to begin the night for the Bayou Bengals. Next rotation, LSU on beam, and who else but Kaya Johnson leading the way for the Tigers. She scores a 9-9 on the scale. In the next rotation, Johnson once again, but she doesn't just lead LSU. She scores on the night a perfect 10, leading all, all gymnasts. D.D. Bro cheering on the Tigers from the stands. In the final rotation, Volk, LSU trailing Alabama by .275 points. The first four gymnasts all get a 9-9, nine, nine, and why not? Haley Bryant with a 9-9-5 nine, nine, to end the night for LSU. The Tigers just need to hold on, but Bama needs a 9.875 to beat LSU, and Luisa Blanco gets it for them with a 9.95. Nine, nine, LSU finishes with a 197.775, coming up just short, losing by a tenth of a point to the Crimson Tide. And Southern football is back in action this weekend. The Jags are in Houston facing Texas Southern. Now currently at halftime, or in the third quarter rather, the Jaguars lead 23 to 14. Ladarius Skelton gets the start, throwing a passing touchdown on the opening possession of the game. Skelton would leave for a bit with an injury while Lampley throws a score of his own. But the Jaguars, of course, are up and going out in Houston, Texas. All right, that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.